Hi guys, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to use the camera in Obatoon. So right here we have this scene where this girl's standing on a hill and this wind is blowing in her hair, and this just would look awesome. It would look awesome if the camera was panning in this to make it a little more dramatic than it is. So right now, as you guys can see, I have the column one, the exposure for the background, the exposure is how long a frame is held. Um, it's pretty long, we have it down all the way to 30. And then we have the frames of the animation of the girl's hair um, do, <laughs> supposedly blowing in the wind. That's not the best. Don't don't judge me. So, <laughs> so what we're going to do is actually going to add a pan to this. So what we can do is click the first frame. <clears throat> we're going to go to the edit tool all the way up here. We're going to hit where it says column one because this means we can move around column one, which is the background. And we don't want to do that. So I'm going to click, click hit control Z. We're going to hit column one and we're going to hit camera one because camera one, as you guys can see in here in the red, is what um, our camera is on. So what we're going to do is go down here where you see the little key key button, which stands for keyframes. Now, if you don't know what keyframes are, keyframes in um, animation are basically um, the points, or in 3D animation, are the points in which the computer will calculate where, where to move into. Now, what you can do is hit this key button right here and then scroll all the way down to 30 and we're just going to move it a tad bit to give it that pan effect. There we go. And um, yes, yeah, so you just got to click and drag with the edit tool. Now all we got, now we have this little pan. But it doesn't look like a pan. It just looks like the camera's moving. But if we go to the camera, little button up here, we can see what it'll look like um, when we render the animation, which I guys taught you in the last video. So it looks pretty cool. See her standing on the mountain, her hair blowing like a squid flailing in the wind. That looks pretty, pretty darn cool. But what if you want something different? Something, um, what if you wanted a pan that was like an ease in, where it kind of um, started off slow and then went faster? What you can do is come to um, preferences right here, go to animation. <clears throat> and right now we have our animation set to linear. Linear mean that it's just going to go find the straight path, not, not too quickly between, um, I mean, no change in speed. But what we can do is change this to speed in, speed out. Speed out. So let's try that. Um, but we will have to destroy these keyframes. So we can set, to, click down here, um, double click this to get rid of it, and then we can reset it now. See what happens when we do this. Speed in and speed out. So it goes a little faster in the middle. It's, yeah, so that's pretty cool. It's a different kind of movement um, with speed in and speed out. And then you have your choice of slow in and slow out also. Let me go back to this view. We can go to preferences again. Um, uh, where did I put it? Where's preferences? Uh, oh, I'll look at the bottom. Okay. Then we have ease in, ease out, and then you have ease in and ease out percentage. I'm not exactly sure what the percentage stands for, but um, maybe is that you can set it. I'm not. I never really played with that too much, but we're just gonna do ease in and ease out just because you gotta teach what you know. So let's go over here and we can just move it and see how that works. Ease in and ease out. So yeah, it's um, it's pretty. It's a really nice feature to have. When you have the panning feature, I'm just going to set it back to the way I, it was a linear because with pans, you want it all to be the same speed. Um, but you can use these for moving objects um, and the edit tool for moving objects. And um, we're going to learn about it in another video because it's a really big topic. The edit tool has a lot of things you can do with it that are just so cool. Um, Open it really is a special software. Um, and so we'll get back to the edit tool in another video. So I'll thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys like this video, I have tons more in the beginners playlist coming out in the following week. So be sure to click the card and see what's already available. Thank you guys for watching. If you like, then leave a like, and then I'll see you guys next time. Peace.